Donald Trump just did something that might hurt Tesla and make Elon Musk super angry. While Musk is out there defending his company and solving problems like EVs catching fire and the EV repair crisis, Donald Trump wants to put a stop to everything. That's right, he wants to make room for gas cars and hybrids instead of going all in on EVs. This move has caused Elon Musk to do something that Trump never saw coming. How bad will things be for Tesla if Trump wins the election? Can Tesla's stock crash? Why is Trump going against electric vehicles? If you thought EVs are saving the planet, then wait till you hear what I'm going to tell you. Donald Trump isn't a big fan of electric vehicles. He's been pretty vocal about it, especially during a rally in Detroit, where he basically said that EVs are too expensive and don't go far enough on a charge to be useful. He thinks that pushing for EVs is not a great idea because they could end up costing a lot of jobs in traditional car manufacturing and thinks this push towards EVs is kind of a bad deal for Americans. Is he right though? Well, to some extent, yes. While EVs seem like the perfect solution, we are digging away lots of minerals like lithium and cobalt from Earth to make batteries for electric cars, and these minerals are in limited supply, so we can't keep doing this forever without any problems. Then there's also the fact that EVs are just not affordable. I mean, sure, you can argue that you can save gas money, but what about the initial high price that goes over $50,000 for an average EV? And repair bills that can go way beyond $12,000 if you ever have to repair the batteries on your electric car. Now, while Trump is not cheering for EVs, the car industry in the US has already been betting big on them. We're talking more than $100 billion invested in making new electric cars, which have already created over 100,000 jobs. These are huge numbers, and it shows that a lot of people believe electric cars are the future of driving. Why all the investment? Because Joe Biden wants us to think that people actually want these cars. He claims costs for electric cars are going down, making them more affordable, and you can choose from a lot more models now than just a few years ago. Plus, the government under President Joe Biden has been helping this along with some incentives, like tax breaks for people who buy EVs, and money to build more charging stations. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Trump wants to roll back a lot of the support for EVs if he gets back into office. He's talked about changing the rules to lower the requirements for how much cars need to reduce their pollution. And he's not into giving out tax breaks for EVs. Basically, Trump's not a fan of forcing a switch from gas cars to electric ones, and he wants to slow things down or maybe even put a stop to it. And all this has made one man super angry, but more on this a minute later. First up, let me tell you what exactly could happen to Tesla's stock price if Trump wins the election. Well, long story short, it's going to come crashing down, and I'm not talking about a small change. Since Trump plans to remove the $7,500 EV tax credit that we used to get, Tesla's will get pricier. He says that this will be done to level the playing field and let gas car makers make more hybrids. Trump wants the common man to be able to choose what they drive, instead of forcing EVs upon us. What's Elon Musk saying about all this? Well, Musk and Trump aren't exactly on the same page. Musk, the big boss at Tesla, has been a major player in pushing electric cars. Under his lead, Tesla has become super important in the car industry, especially for EVs. But here's the twist. Musk has said he's not going to donate money to Trump or Biden in the upcoming election. He's trying to stay out of the political drama for now, though he's made moves before that show he's not all in with Biden's policies either. If Trump wins and pulls back on EV support, it could shake things up for Tesla and other car makers who are investing a lot in electric cars. Without government incentives like tax breaks, fewer people might buy electric cars because they'd be more expensive. Also, if the US stops pushing so hard for electric cars, other countries might get ahead in the industry, which could mean the US would lose out on money and jobs in the future. And here's the thing, while Trump is critical of EVs, not everyone in his party feels the same. Some Republicans see the value in the new jobs and money coming from the EV push. Plus, states like Georgia are really getting into the electric car game with new factories being built and lots of new jobs. So what does all this mean for Tesla stock if Trump wins? Well, stocks go up and down for a ton of reasons, but if the US government pulls back on EV support, 
it could make investors nervous. They might worry that Tesla won't sell as many cars without government incentives, which could cause Tesla's stock price to drop. However, Tesla has been a favorite for investors for a long time, and its cars are popular not just in the US, but around the world. So it's not just about what happens in the US, Tesla is playing on a global stage. Tesla, which is like the superstar of electric cars, is already facing some tough times in China. They sold 62,167 China-made cars in April, which is a lot, but it's actually 18% less than what they sold last year during the same time. And in the car world, when your sales start dropping like that, people start to worry. This drop in sales is especially noteworthy because it's not just a one-time thing. Tesla sales have been slipping for a bit now, and this latest drop is part of a trend that's causing some people to raise their eyebrows. It's like watching a top athlete start to lose their edge. It gets everyone talking about what's going wrong. What makes it even more dramatic is that while Tesla's sales are going down, the overall market for electric cars in China is actually booming. Other companies, especially Chinese ones like BYD, are doing really well. BYD sold 312,048 cars in April, which is a huge increase from last year. So it's not that people don't want electric cars, they just might not want Teslas as much as they used to. One big reason Tesla is struggling might be the fierce price war happening in China. Other companies are cutting their prices of their EVs a lot, making Tesla's cars look expensive in comparison. It's like everyone else is having a huge sale and Tesla is stuck with high prices that drive customers away. To try and fix things, Tesla is cutting prices and laying off workers, which is a big deal because it shows they're trying to save money and get back on track. They even start the second quarter by announcing they cut more than 10% of their global workforce. That's a lot of jobs, and it's a sign that Tesla is feeling the pressure. Elon Musk, the big boss of Tesla, even went to China last April to try and smooth things over and push forward some deals, like rolling out Tesla's advanced driver assistant package in China. This could help Tesla compete better with local companies. Despite these efforts, Tesla's troubles in China are a big deal because China is the largest auto market in the world. It's like the major league in car sales, and if you're not doing well there, it's gonna hurt. Plus, Tesla's cars made in China are also sent to other places, like Europe. So problems in China can ripple out and affect Tesla's global business. Now, here's why all this matters for Tesla stock. The stock market reacts to how well companies are doing, and right now, Tesla's slipping sales in such an important market could make investors nervous. This could lead to a drop in Tesla's stock price because investors might start thinking that Tesla's best days could be behind it, especially as more competitors set up their game. A win for Trump could mean some big changes for electric cars in the US. It could lead to fewer sales if the incentives go away, and that could impact how well Tesla does, affecting their stock prices. But Tesla is a strong company that's done well even in tough times, so it's hard to say exactly what will happen. Plus, the world is really moving towards electric cars, and that momentum might be hard to slow down, even by a US president. So let's keep an eye on this because it's going to be pretty interesting to see how it all plays out. Do you think gas cars should be banned? Or should the customer get to choose what we want to buy? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded another video unveiling a brand new sodium EV battery that can be charged in seconds. So be sure to check out my channel for that.